This video, we are looking at how to find the mean and standard deviation on our new Casio calculator, but from a frequency table. If you're looking at how to find the mean and standard deviation from just a list of numbers, check out our second video for that. So let's have a look. So this is our uh, table here that we're going to use in order to find both the mean and standard deviation. So let's take out our Casio calculator first of all. And what I've done here is, on the left hand side, I've just listed out the instructions that you can follow on your calculator as well. But we're going to go through them here on the right hand side uh, as well. But just if you want to look back on it, they're the instructions that you're carrying out. So the question here is asking us to find the mean and standard deviation from this frequency table. So we have our variable and the frequency, the frequency being how often it's going to happen. Uh, when you are finding your mean and standard deviation, it's very important that you reset your calculator, first of all, in case anything is pre-saved on it. So first of all, turn on your calculator and we want to clear our calculators. Come up to the top left and hit the shift key, then press nine where it says reset above it. And we want to reset the setup data. So press one and then we want to hit equals to confirm yes. And then it says uh, reset, complete, so press AC to confirm. So I'm just going to press the yellow AC button. So your calculator has now reset back to factory settings and cleared anything that has been saved on it. So now I'm going to come over to the left here and carry out the question that they've asked. So I'm first of all going to set my calculator to allow for a frequency uh, to be set on it. So what I do is I'm carrying out these steps here now. So I'm going to press the shift key, then the setup. So I'm pressing shift, set up and I arrow down in the little center of the keypad and I look for statistics number one so I press the one key and I want to turn on frequency because I have a frequency table so I press one for on I am brought back now to my main screen and now I want to set my calculator in statistics mode so I'm now down on to step setup two and one so I'm pressing my setup key and you can see here the little histogram for number two, that's telling me statistics. So I press two for statistics and then press the one key for one variable. So I'm putting in one variable, but I also have a frequency. So up comes a table like this and just make sure that it has an X at the top and a frequency column as well. The X is going to be your variable. So I want to input the data now. So when I want to put in the zero, I just type zero on my calculator, then press the equals key and you'll see that the zero has been input into the table. Don't worry about the frequency part just yet. It'll come up as one, as you can see in my calculator, but we'll change that in a second. All I'm doing now is putting in the variable. So I have the zero in. I then press my next variable, which is two, press my equals. I will then press the three and equals and four and equals. So you can see my variables are now input. I have zero, two, three, and four. But my frequencies all say one, but I need to change my frequencies. So using the keypad in the center of your calculator, arrow to the right, and the little black bar will now appear in the frequency column. And I'm just going to arrow back up here to my first variable, which was zero. Now the frequency that corresponds to zero is four. So I need to type in four and then hit my equals. The frequency that corresponds to the two is three. So I press three equals. And then I input the two equals. And then my final frequency is three equals. So just have a glance back at your table and you should see that the frequencies correspond to the variable. So my variable of zero corresponds to four. The two variable corresponds to the three frequency. The three variable corresponds to the two frequency. And the four variable corresponds to the three frequency. So once I'm happy with my table, I need to save that data. So I press the AC button on my calculator. And your screen should go like what you see here, stain statistics, one variable. So just if you're looking down on the left hand side, we're now down to here. We've completed the AC step. I now want to retrieve my data, my mean and my standard deviation. So I'm going to press the OPTN button, the option button here on my calculator, just below the shift key. Press that key and up comes three options, one, two, and three. We want to press two to retrieve our variable calculations. So I press two on my calculator and up comes this screen. Now there's a lot of information on this screen, but the only ones that we're concerned about is the X bar, the bar above it is telling me that that's the mean. So the mean for this frequency table is two. And if I go down to the symbol here for sigma, that's our standard deviation symbol there. 
and it is telling me that I have a standard deviation of 1.58. So more than likely, they're the only two pieces of data that you need. The mean being the first one, X bar, and the sigma X being the standard deviation. And that's how to find mean and standard deviation of a frequency table. Like I said, if you want to find mean and standard deviation of a list of numbers, just check out the second video. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.